Hello, I'm Regina, and today I'll be showing you how to paint a geode with Pebeo paints. So let's get our supplies together and get started. I'm going to take this uh, Vitrell Sky Blue and I'm going to add some lightning medium to it. Uh, if you're not wanting to lighten the whole container, then it's best to use a smaller separate container to do your mixture in. Alright, so I can tell this one isn't mixed up very well because it looks kind of um, watery. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. That's much better. And then I'm going to pour it into this bottle. So as you can see, it's a very dark blue. And I want it to be just a little bit lighter. And so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to mix in just a little bit of this half and half, this lightning medium. And then we're going to shake it up. If you don't lighten the color up, it's extremely dark. So this just lightens up the color so that you can spread it out further and it doesn't look so black. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and make the um, outside of the geode. So I'm just going to use the gold and I'm just going to pour it around them. You know, I, I'm an abstract artist. Um, I'm not trying to be precise on this. So I'm just going to pour it into a big kind of circle. And that works for me. Okay, you might want to wipe the bottle off. Next I'm going to add in the different shades of, of blue and so I'm going to use um, this dark blue that we just mixed. See that lined it up um, just for some dimension. I'm going to add in some of this dark blue. So this will give you a good comparison and show you like how much we actually lightened it up. I like about geodes is that circle effect and there's so many different colors and depths into it. So use prism turquoise and we'll add a little bit of that in as well. Just gonna wait for those paints to combine a little bit. So you can just lift up your glass just a little bit, slightly move it to get them to combine. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's continue with the other colors. So let's go ahead and finish this up. 
don't want to move too fast because you want the blending process to look natural. So if I flip this too fast, it would cause runs in my piece. And in this case, I don't want runs in my work, but I do want to fill in some of the gaps. See how it's starting to bring the form. And so a good um, a good option is to take a toothpick or the back of a paintbrush or um, I keep plastic knives and utensils around. You can just kind of brush the paint over where you want it to be. I don't really like how this is going off by itself, so I'm going to push some of this other paint over just to keep the form um, flowing and a little bit more gold over here. You can see how it's blended so much in with the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and just add in just a little bit more gold to why the rest is drying. So I'm just going to kind of follow along the edge here. And add more gold in. There we go. Hey, well this is definitely coming together nicely. I really love how the white's even starting to blend in with the blue. Um, really got a lot of the effects that the geode has in it. So I'm so excited. I love artwork and watching it come together. It's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> so, all right, so the last thing that we are going to do is go ahead and add in the Fantasy Moon Silver. Right. So I'm just going to pour that into the sun. Just let it spread out on its own. Something that I've learned um, from using Pebio paints is that with the glitter, um, you don't want to just add it right away. You actually need the piece to begin to dry and be at least an hour in. That way when you pour the glitter into it, it comes to the top. So right now we're going to forego the glitter portion of it. We're just going to kind of let it sit. Um, I feel like it needs a little bit of blue in with the silver, so I am going to um, add any excess uh, blue that I have left over uh, and then just kind of dribble it into the center. Um, I'm going to just take my knife and add some really cool designs in there kind of mix in that blue and um, I really like to see a little bit mixed in with the white over here. Um, we're just going to let it sit for an hour and we'll come back and add in the glitter. Welcome back. So I went ahead and added in the glitter as you can see. Basically, um, I waited an hour, or I came back, and I just poured it in. Um, and then, to try to get like the geode effect, I blew on the center, which caused it to disperse. And as you can see, it's making a very glittery crystal-looking effect. So now I'm just going to leave it alone um, and let it dry and do its thing. And we will come back in the morning and um, see what it looks like. If you want to see more videos like this, just post in the comments below. And you can also follow me on Facebook at Artist Regina Mick. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Y'all have a great day. Peace.